Claude has just got something called skilled. But what is it and what does it really mean? That's what we're going to cover in today's video, breaking down what they are, how they work, and how you can create your own custom skills. So what is agent skills from Claude? Well, they say it's how Claude can now use specific skills to actually improve its performance on specific tasks. But what does that really mean? Well, if we compare that to how many people are currently using Claude at the moment, you've now got three different options. First of all, is we give it a prompt to go through and get the output that we're looking for. This can be a bit hit or miss with the outputs, and it's totally dependent on how good your prompt actually is. The other one that we've got access to is MCP, and this is fantastic because it speaks its own language to be able to go through and produce the output exactly the way you want it every single time for a wide variety of apps. But maybe you've got a task that sits slightly in between the two. You need that output to be as good as you can get with MCP, but maybe it's not actually being used in an application. That's where skills come into play. And there were good middle ground between prompts and your MCP. What it's essentially enabling us to do is give Claude a predefined instruction on how to complete a specific task in a specific way. So for example, we can give Claude multiple and multiple different skills, but they could be one is how to get a really good consistent email every time how to analyze data for some reports, how to build presentations, how to generate some content that you could post on social media, or even generate ideas for you to use in lots of different use cases. What Claude will be able to do is scan the available skills like we just mentioned of maybe being a data analyst and find the one that it thinks would be best for this specific task. We can predefine exactly how it completes that task, which I'll show you in a second. And one of the other great things as well is we're going to be able to build it once and then use across apps, Claude code, and the API as well. And as they say here, think of skills as more of those custom instructions that lets you package specific expertise, domain knowledge to get an output right every single time. So what are skills? Well, skills teach Claude how to complete a specific task in a repeatable way. Whether that's creating documents with your company's brands, guidelines, analyzing data, or many, many more use cases. What happens is Claude is going to be improving the consistency of his outputs and performance on many tasks because you've predefined how it's going to complete the action. What it will do is it will first look at all of the skills available, i.e. the different tasks it can complete, and then choose the one that's most applicable to that specific task. And there's a couple of different ways that we can get to the output. Anthropic have already developed their own skills that we can access and use, which I'll show you in a second. But we can now also go through and generate custom skills for us to be able to get those great repeatable outputs every single time but specific to the task that we're going to give it and there's going to be lots of benefits to that but the first question you probably got is how does it compare to mcp what well, mcp as you can see here is directly connecting claude to external applications or services and data sources whereas skills sit more or less in between the prompt and the mcp to give it a really good structured instruction on how to go through and complete that specific task in a specific way. So it enables us to get great repeatable outputs versus having to use pure prompting, but not the full capabilities of everything in the MCP. Now, Anthropic have got this great paper, which I'll link down below, that explains exactly how they work in the real world. If we come further down here, the first thing is that skills file. Now they've got a repository on GitHub, as we can see here, that's got lots of examples for us to be able to use. If we come back across though, we need to be able to read them to understand what they do. At the top, we're gonna have the formatter for what the name of that skill is, as well as a description of what we want it to do. 
We're then below it going to have lots of markdown text that explain all of the dependencies of different files, Python instances, anything else we need included to get the output that we want. What you can also do is tie these skills together. So if we come down here, as we can see, we've maybe got the main skill on the left hand side, but we've given it instructions on specific tasks as reference sub documents, as we can see here. So then the agent can pull in additional information as it needs to use it in the future. To show you what they look like, we'll come across to GitHub. We can come into, for example, where it's got brand guidelines, and then we're going to have this skill.md file here. You just need to click on skills.md, and then it's going to take you through to all of the details. Change it to code, and this will show you exactly how that MD file is structured. So first thing is we're going to have the name of that skill. Then we're going to have a description of what that skill is able to do. And we can add some additional metadata information like the license document here. This skill is all about being able to generate consistent outputs in the branding style of Anthropic. So as we can see here, we've now got lots and lots of different details in the file to be able to get that output. And this is the structure that we need to follow for creating our very own custom skills as well. So how do we go through and activate the skills in Claude? Once you come into Claude, come across to the sidebar and down to your settings. It's only available for pro plans and up at the moment. We need to do settings, come down to capabilities, we're now going to scroll down and what we'll be able to see here are all of the skills currently available within Claws. We can turn all of these on if we want to be able to use them. And each of them have different instructions to get the output that we're looking for. And Anthropic have already given us these skills as templates, but also for us to try out. So as we can see here, we've got that brand guideline as we just saw earlier on. Now it's pulled through that skill name as we can see here and the description. If we want to try it, all we need to do is the three dots and then try in chat. We can now send it off and now it's going to go through and demonstrate what we're able to do with this specific skill. So in this use case, it's going to enable us to generate some amazing outputs in a consistent style for Anthropic's brand guidelines. So now what it's done in the background, it was able to go through and find that specific .md file. It was able to read all of the different instructions that we had for that skill. And now it's gone through and generated a brand guideline template, as we can see on the right hand side here. So it enables us to get some really good consistent outputs by predefining the skill and how it should be completed. If you want to generate your very own skills, what you're able to do is come back to our settings. We're going to come down to where we've got capabilities. We'll see down here that we've actually got a skill creator. We're going to do the three dots and try in chat. It's going to bring it into the field here. Now I've already got a data set ready to go, which is all around coffee sales. So we're going to tell it that we want a skill that is all around generating some insights, visualizations, data points to go through this agent every single time. And this could save someone maybe hours of trying to visualize the data, pull out some insights, and better than having it as more of a prompt, it should be a lot more consistent every single time. So as we can see here, it's come back with a couple of questions. So we're just going to respond back and say that we basically want that executive summary sales report to come back every single time. So we're just going to let this go through and generate the skills.nd file for us. So at the moment, it's basically going through and understanding from the skill created document what it's able to do. So this is the skills creator guide. So what it's just done is read all of this information here to understand the output and what we're trying to achieve. So as you can see here, loaded in all of this information to make sure the skill that we get back is actually usable. Now it's going to go through and start generating the Python script for the sales report. And it's going to check that it will actually run and work with the data we're going to give it. It's now given us the first part here, which is the reference document. 
it's now creating the main skill.md file, which is the part that we're going to load into Claude a little bit later on for it to actually give us the output every time we run it. So now it's just gone through and generated the skills MD file, as we can see on the right hand side here. It should go through and just remove and tidy up that document, as we can see on the right hand side. So now it's going to go through and test it for us to make sure that it's going to work with some of the data we're going to be putting through a little bit later on. We then come down here, it packaged it all up for us. So now we've got the skill.md file here, and we can see an example of what that output should look like each time we run it. So again, if you wanted to change this to a specific color scheme or style, you can do that as well in the instructions. We've got page one, page two, and page three and four. So now for us to be able to use this skill, we're going to come down the bottom here and just press download all. This is going to download the example format as well as the actual skill file that we need to use. So once that's all downloaded, come across to where you stored it. You've got the files.zip here. We're going to undo this for now because then what we'll see is we'll have a dot skills file here and a PDF file as well. Now, because this is dot skill and not dot MD, we're not going to be able to read it because if we come back to Claude and we open this up, this is what it's going to look like. So if you want the reference, I recommend coming back up to where it's got the skill dot MD, and then we're going to do download and just make sure that we've got this as well. I definitely think this is something that Claude and Anthropic need to make sure that is consistent in the output because having tested it a couple of times we don't always get the same thing every single time but to be able to use it now we have everything downloaded we'll come back up to our settings come down to our capabilities come down to where we've got skills here and upload a new skill we're going to come across to where we've got coffees and files and i've got the skill file here if you're using the .md file, all you need to do is make sure that you compress and zim that file beforehand. So now you can see you can use that as well if you wanted to. We're still going to use that skill file, open it up, and now it will be able to go through and use it within our agent. So for the request, all we're going to do is do try in chat. So I'm just going to get rid of this instruction here. And we're just going to paste our prompt in again, mentioning that we've got this specific skill that we wanted to use. We're going to attach our CSV file, which is all of the coffee data. Maybe you're doing this once a week, once a month, and this could save you hours and hours of time. We're going to send this off and now we're going to wait for it to analyze it and produce that report for us. It's starting off by reading that skill document exactly like we expected to to make sure that it understands the task is trying to complete. Analyzing that data for us by using some Python scripts that we mentioned before. So as we can see at the bottom here, it did run into an issue earlier on, but it solved it itself. So now if I open up the report, it looks exactly the same as that format that we had earlier on. So we can have that great consistency in the outputs that we're looking to achieve. So that's all that's new with Claude skills. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Any specific skills you'd like us to ski, we can demonstrate them on the channel. And all your thoughts are around how this fits in between maybe prompts, MCP, and if the market's actually going to adopt this. Stay tuned for more around AI automation and have a great day. 